Hey, what is up guys? Today I'm bringing you my reaction to the new April free update trailer that Nintendo dropped literally like an hour ago as of recording this. Um, so obviously a few of you guys saw uh, in one of my recent videos, we talked about someone discussing the possibility of certain characters coming back. But then over the past couple of days, it also came to my attention that someone on Twitter called Ninji uh, had data mined the game and spoke about these potential updates that were going to be happening. So they didn't um, go into an April 3 update or when this stuff was coming. They just uh, had a few things they went over and explored coming, which I know a few have been actually added to the game or are going to be added to the game in this new free update. So, very excited to watch this. Uh, we are going to split this video into like two parts. So, I will do a video shortly after this. Um, just sort of covering everything that's been added. Versing the things we are still missing. And just sort of a deep dive into all of that. But, without further ado, this is the reaction half of the two videos. So, let's just go ahead and watch this now. Make sure we can hear it as well. So, starting April 23rd. Which is literally two days away now, so I'm so excited. So we've got Leaf, the uh, adorable little sloth. So he is now selling seeds, saplings. Okay, so there's uh, shrubs now, yeah. They are definitely shrubs. Raymond in the back there as well. Red and his treasure trawler. Okay, so that is something that was alluded to in a previous video of mine. Uh, and yeah, he sells artwork, so you can exchange bells for artwork and furniture. But does that... It means the museum is back with an upgrade, which has, of course, the art gallery in. So that is still missing something in the museum, but that will be in the next video, so make sure you watch that as well. So now, April, June, we've got Nature Day, and that is a little over a week. Okay. So, okay, you guys can see that, yeah. Yeah, limited time Nature Day activities, plant shrub starts. And then in May, you can go on a May Day tour. Yeah, a May Day tour with a May Day ticket. And that's limited time. And that's again a week. International Museum Day. So, a little over a week again. And you can get in-game rewards through a stamp rally. So it works just like the Nook Miles rewards. And then there's wedding season, which goes on for nearly a whole month. Where you can arrange anniversary photos. Okay, that is adorable. Okay, so we've got literally like two whole months of updates coming. No, nearly three now, if you technically include this one and the updates we've already had. So we, we've got, considering the game came out in March, we've had stuff in April, stuff planned for May, and then more stuff planned for June. But obviously this is called the April free update, so obviously there may be one for May and June because they were kind of limited how much we saw. But with all of the stuff coming, like the museum upgrade, that is super, super cool. I'm super excited to see what those are like. Um, because, like I say, the data miner, Ninji, spoke about museum updates. Uh, they did mention there was a little bit more than just an art gallery coming, for example. But obviously we are still yet to see what goes on beyond June. But April, May and June, there has been a, and there is going to be, a lot of content. So, I mean, just having Leaf, uh, we obviously knew that was coming anyway. But they also mentioned in the data mine that there was going to be new shops. Uh, and then there is another article, which I believe I have loaded, the uh, villager dialogue that hints at possible museum art updates. So, can't say I know much about art, but I like that there's some in the museum here for me to gawk at. Uh, so obviously this was two weeks ago. I did do a video on it that I will leave somewhere in the description down below. But yeah, so people were talking about this. Uh, there was also speak of Brewster because someone mentioned him and the coffer. But that is supposed to be part of the museum upgrade as well. But if you piece that together with the uh, data mine we had and how there's supposed to be more than one museum upgrade or update coming. There's one for the artwork. And then hopefully a follow-up one with Brewster and his cafe. Uh, so yeah, that is super cool. Uh, I mean, I'm looking forward to seeing the um, meeting Red for the first time and seeing sort of the art he has. Uh, hopefully that becomes like a full-blown shop. Like I said, this is my first Animal Crossing game. 
So obviously I don't know a lot of the history of these characters, but from what I've heard, this is going to be something amazing. Because uh, obviously a lot of people who have gone through and sort of burned themselves out in the uh, the past month the game's been out. Uh, and they've just binged Animal Crossing while we're all obviously stuck at home playing video games. Uh, a few people are sort of bummed out that we don't have as much content as the other games did. But you have to remember those are completed entities. And hopefully for those people who weren't happy with how much was in the game, clearly they've locked this behind a wall. Bearing in mind that's not a paywall, that is just a content update wall. So we just have to wait for the update so people can't time travel and everything's there. We are getting this when Nintendo wants us to get it, but most importantly, we are getting this for free, which is absolutely insane. Like, not many companies do this. So just to be able to have a game that I'm already so happy with, and then to have them add all of this stuff, like, they're adding a sloth, and I absolutely adore sloths. They are, like, the cutest thing ever, and to have someone visit your island and sell you new types of flowers, potentially... There's bushes, uh, and in the data mine, there was quite a few bushes and different types mentioned. So there's going to be so much new stuff for us to do with our island, new people to meet, and just new things to look forward to. Even new parts of the museum, so I don't even like. I'm now going to be excited to go to. So, yeah, that is it for this video, guys. Um, there will be a second one, um, so we are just going to sort of follow up from this. Just talk about the April 3 update, but then also refer to my other video, which, like I say, will be linked down below. Just sort of discussing the potential things that are going to come after June updates. So, if you guys are excited to see that, make sure you subscribe. If you did enjoy the video, please leave a like, as it means a lot. And you guys have been absolutely killing it with the support recently, so thank you so, so much for that. But, like I said, that is it for this video. Thank you guys very much for watching. Until next time, peace out. And take care.